Book 3 The Book of the Divine Mother Canto 2 The Adoration of the Divine Mother A stillness absolute incommunicable meets the sheer self-discovery of the soul. A wall of stillness shuts it from the world. A gulf of stillness swallows up the sense and makes unreal all that mind has known, all that the laboring senses still would view, prolonging an imaged unreality. Self's vast spiritual silence occupies space. Only the inconceivable is left, only the nameless without space and time. Abolished is the burdening need of life. Thought falls from us, we cease from joy and grief. The ego is dead, we are freed from being and care. We have done with birth and death and work and faith. For soul, it is too early to rejoice. Thou hast reached the boundless silence of the self. Thou hast leaped into a glad divine abyss. But where hast thou thrown self's mission and self's power? On what dead bank on the eternal road? One was within thee who was self and world. What hast thou done for his purpose in the stars? Escape brings not the victory and the crown. Something thou camest to do from the unknown. But nothing is finished, and the world goes on, because only half God's cosmic work is done. Only the everlasting no has neared, and stared into thy eyes, and killed thy heart. But where is the lover's everlasting yes, and immortality in the secret heart, the voice that chants to the creator fire? The assembled Om, the great assenting word, the bridge between the rapture and the calm, the passion and the beauty of the bride, the chamber where the glorious enemies kiss, the smile that saves the golden peak of things. This too is truth and the mystic fount of life. A black veil has been lifted. We have seen the mighty shadow of the omniscient Lord. But who has lifted up the veil of light? And who has seen the body of the King? The mystery of God's birth and acts remains, living unbroken, the last chapter seal, unsolved the riddle of the unfinished play. The cosmic player laughs within his mask, and still the last inviolate secret hides behind the human glory of a form, behind the gold idolon of a name. A large white line has figured as a goal, but far beyond the ineffable sun tracks blaze. What seemed the source and end was a wide gate, a last bare step into eternity. An eye has opened upon timelessness. Infinity takes back the forms it gave, and through God's darkness or his naked light, his million rays return into the sun. There is a zero sign of the Supreme. Nature left nude and still uncovers God. But in her grandiose nothingness, all is there. When her strong garbs are torn away from us, the soul's ignorance is slain, but not the soul. The zero covers an immortal face. A high and blank negation is not all. A huge extinction 
is not God's last word, life's ultimate sense, the close of being's course, the meaning of this great mysterious world. In absolute silence sleeps an absolute power. Awaking, it can wake the transbound soul and in the ray reveal the parent sun. It can make the world a vessel of spirit's force. It can fashion in the clay God's perfect shape. To free the self is but one radiant pace. Here to fulfill himself was God's desire. Even while he stood on being's naked edge, and all the passion and seeking of his soul faced their extinction in some featureless vast, the presence he yearned for suddenly drew close. Across the silence of the ultimate calm, out of a marvellous transcendence core, a body of wonder and translucency, as if a sweet mystic summary of herself escaping into the original bliss had come and lodged out of eternity, someone came infinite and absolute. A being of wisdom, power and delight, even as a mother draws her child to her arms, took to her breast nature and world and soul, abolishing the signless emptiness, breaking the vacancy and voiceless hush, piercing the limitless unknowable into the liberty of the motionless depths, a beautiful and felicitous luster stole. The power, the light, the bliss, no word can speak, imaged itself in a surprising beam and built a golden passage to his heart, touching through him all longing sentient things, a moment's sweetness of the all-beautiful, cancel the vanity of the cosmic world, a nature throbbing with a heart divine was felt in the unconscious universe. It made the breath a happy mystery, a love that bore the cross of pain with joy. You demonized the sorrow of the world, made happy the weight of long unending time, the secret court of God's felicity. Affirming in life a hidden ecstasy, it held the spirit to its miraculous course, carrying immortal values to the hours, it justified the labor of the sun. For one was there, supreme behind the God, a mother might brooded upon the world, a consciousness revealed its marvellous front, transcending all that is, denying none, imperishable above our fallen heads. He felt a rapturous and unstumbling force. The undying truth appeared, the enduring power of all that here is made and then destroyed the mother of all goddesses and all strengths, who mediatrix binds earth to the supreme, the enigma seized that rules our nature's night, the covering nations was unmasked and slain, its mind of error was stripped off from things and the dull moods of its perverting will. Illumined by her all-seeing identity, knowledge and ignorance could strive no more. No longer could the titan opposites 
antagonist poles of the world's artifice impose the illusion of their twofold screen throwing their figures between us and her the wisdom was near disguised by its own works of which the darkened universe is the robe no more existence seemed an aimless fall extinction was no more the soul release the hidden word was found the long sought clue revealed was the meaning of our spirit's birth condemned to an imperfect body and mind in the inconscience of material things and the indignity of mortal life a heart was felt in the spaces wide and bare a burning love from white spiritual founts annulled the sorrow of the ignorant depths suffering was lost in her immortal smile the life from beyond grew conqueror here of death to err no more was natural to mind wrong could not come where all was light and love the formless and the formed were joined in her immensity was exceeded by a look a face revealed the crowded infinite incarnating inexpressibly in her limbs the boundless joy the blind world forces seek her body of beauty mooned the seas of bliss at the head she stands of birth and toil and fate in their slow round the cycles turn to her call alone her hands can change time's dragon bays hers is the mystery the night conceals the spirit's alchemist energy is hers she is the golden bridge the wonderful fire the luminous heart of the unknown is she a power of silence in the depths of god she is the force the inevitable word the magnet of our difficult ascent the sun from which we kindle all our suns the light that leans from the unrealized vast the joy that beckons from the impossible the might of all that never yet came down all nature dumbly calls to her alone to heal with her feet the aching throb of life and break the seals on the dim soul of man and kindle her fire in the closed heart of things all her shall be one day her sweetness home all contraries prepare her harmony toward her our knowledge climbs our passion gropes in her miraculous rapture we shall dwell her clasp will turn to ecstasy our pain our self shall be one self with all through her in her confirmed because transformed in her our life shall find in its fulfilled response above the boundless hushed beatitude below the wonder of the embrace divine this known as in a thunder flash of god the rapture of things eternal filled his limbs amazement fell upon his ravished sense his spirit was caught in her intolerant flame one seen his heart acknowledged only her only a hunger of infinite bliss was left all aims in her were lost then found in her his base was gathered to one pointing spire this was a seed 
cast into endless time. A word is spoken or a light is shown. A moment sees the ages toil to express. So flashing out of the timeless leaped the worlds. An eternal instant is the cause of the years. All he had done was to prepare a field. His small beginnings asked for a mighty end. For all that he had been must now new shape. In him her joy to embody, to enshrine her beauty and greatness in his house of life. But now his being was too wide for self. His heart's demand had grown immeasurable. His single freedom could not satisfy. Her light, her bliss, he asked for earth and men. But vain are human power and human love to break earth's seal of ignorance and death. His nature's might seem now an infant's grasp. Heaven is too high for outstretched hands to see. This light comes not by struggle or by thought. In the mind's silence the transcendent act and the hushed heart hears the unuttered word. A vast surrender was his only strength. A power that lives upon the heights must act, bring into life's closed room the immortal's air, and fill the finite with the infinite. All that denies must be torn out and slain, and crushed the many longings for whose sake we lose the one for whom our lives were made. Now other claims had hushed in him their cry, only he longed to draw her presence and power into his heart and mind and breathing frame. Only he yearned to call forever down her healing touch of love and truth and joy into the darkness of the suffering world. His soul was freed and given to her alone.